find cos 840. To find this, we should follow this method C. Here we have 840. Now you should check. 840 lies between which two multiples of 180? What I mean is 840 lies between 720 and 900. This is 180 into 4 and this is 180 into 5. Between these two numbers 840 lies. Next, 840 is close to which number? This is close to 900. So in place of 840, now we should write 900 minus 60. So this will become cos. In place of this, we write this. 900 minus 60. This is your step 1. Next, cos, in place of 900, now we should write 5 into 180, minus 60. Next, here we have 180, so cos is not going to change, it will remain cos. And inside, we get this angle, 60. Now the question is, will we get here plus or minus? To answer that, we should look at the number before 180. That is 5. And 5 is odd. And all the odd multiples of 180, they lie in either in the second or in the third quadrant. So now to select the quadrant, we should look at this symbol. Here we have negative. That means angle lies in the second quadrant. And in the second quadrant cos is negative. So we should put negative. So negative cos 60 is 1 by 2. This is our answer.